good afternoon. Thank you for listening to Jill Smith, Aussie author, or Jill Wright's book reviews on YouTube. I'm actually following on with yesterday's theme. I'm doing um, Harry Helps Grandpa Remember, and uh, Karen Tyrrell uh, writes sort of self-help books for kids, and this is another one of those. But it's actually for kids helping Grandpa, who's got a bit of Alzheimer's, um, to remember things, and it's a really good book. And uh, she was very good at self-help type things for kids. Um, again, I'll put a bit about Karen on my blog and you'll see uh, about that. So yesterday I had uh, her other three books. Um, this one, obviously, she's got bookmarks and everything. She's, she's a very entertaining uh, reader of these books. She dresses up and, uh, and uh, shows them to an audience and uh, does little plays. They have a really good theme. Uh, she's got a great website and I'll also put the link to that on my blog. But um, this is um, Harry Helps Grandpa Remember. And I'll just read a, a little bit of this for you. Harry Hope lived happily on the farm with his mum and dad and his sister Sophie. Grandpa and Nan lived in their own house nearby. Grandpa and Harry loved to play hide and seek with Max the dog. <laughs> so... Harry began to notice that Grandpa was getting slower and he was forgetting things. One day, Grandpa didn't want to play with Harry anymore. I just want to rock in my rocking chair, grumbled Grandpa. So Harry trudged home with Max. He was very sad. It's not like Grandpa to do that. On Grandparents' Day at school, Grandpa became confused and lost. Harry and Nan found him a, a sitting all alone on the bench. Harry was sad because Grandpa had forgotten his name. Nan hugged Harry. Grandpa is getting very forgetful. She said, we must try to help him remember. So that's grandparents' day at school, okay? So how do you think they helped him remember? There's lots of ways you can do that. Um, and she gives lots of good suggestions in here that kids can follow that might help their grandparents in a similar situation. And um, that's something that's really good. So this one, Harry thought of a wonderful idea to help Grandpa remember. He made Grandpa a diary with reminders of all the things he had to do on the farm. Feed the chickens, brush Nettie, milk Daisy and collect the eggs. There you are. So he gave him a list. Okay, so there's lots of other tips in here and it is really useful for um, helping kids. And he took photos and he just generally helped Grandpa get back on track. So, and he went for a walk with Grandpa and they played music and there was lots of good things that they did that reminded Grandpa of all the things he loved to do. And Grandma was very appreciative of that too. So this is a really great book. Look up Karen Turrell. I will put this on my blog at the full review and also, um, you know, pictures and, and so you can see how great it is. So thank you very much for uh, listening. Have a great day and, uh, and listen to Jill Smith, Aussie author or Jill Wright's gurus um, on YouTube. Thanks very much. Bye.